If you've seen Apple's marketing for the Apple Watch Ultra, or if you've watched any of the many reviews out there for the product, you might have the impression that the Apple Watch Ultra is really just for a small sliver of the population. It's really just for people who do ultra marathons, triathlons, who go diving under like 100 meters of water, who climb mountains, who get lost totally off grid in the forest. It's, it's not for everyday people. And I think that that is not accurate at all. So I don't think that the Apple Watch Ultra is right for everybody. But I do think it's right for anyone who's intrigued by some of the differentiating features that it has that aren't just applicable and useful to people who do those extreme events. So in this video, I'm gonna compare the Apple Watch Ultra to the Series 7, which is basically the same as the Series 8, but I'm gonna kind of explain how it's different and what things I've found notable as someone who doesn't run triathlons or anything. I do run regularly, I run two or three times a week, um, and then I do some weightlifting here and there, but I'm not, an extreme sports person, and the normal Apple Watch usually suits my needs just fine. But the Ultra Watch is actually more compelling to me than I expected, so let's jump into the comparison. The biggest difference everyone is going to notice, of course, is the new design. This has a distinct look to it, and it is pretty big. Although, honestly, the size hasn't been an issue for me, and it feels only a little bigger than the 45mm Series 7 that I'm used to. You may have less tolerance for this, but I was expecting this to feel like a massive, awkward thing on my wrist, and instead it just feels like something a little bigger. The next thing I noticed was the crown guard, which tries to protect the digital crown and the side button, and it does that just fine, but I don't love how it looks and it makes these inputs a little harder to use in practice. And then the crown seems to have a little more resistance than I'm used to, and it requires a bit more force to turn, although this may loosen up over time. You of course can't miss the orange accent, which appears on the crown and the brand new action button, which we'll talk about in a second. Finally, we've got the flat glass screen that's elevated a little bit. And this is actually the part of the design that I like the least. And I much prefer the rounded glass of the standard Apple Watch. But again, this is all a matter of taste. So yeah, in my opinion, the Apple Watch Ultra looks a lot more reasonable on the wrist than I think a lot of people have said it does. It is big, it is definitely large, and if you have smaller wrists, then it might be a little too much for you. But for me, I'm five foot eight and around 180 pounds, and it's been totally fine. It is a bigger watch than I'm used to, but it doesn't feel ridiculous. But the Apple Watch Ultra is more than just a different design. It also has some tangible benefits everyone will benefit from. Number one being battery life. Battery life is twice as good as the normal Apple Watch. Apple advertises 18 hours with the series watches and 36 hours with the Ultra, and that's pretty much in line with my experience. With the Series 7, I get about 24 to 36 hours of battery life. With this, I get 48 to 60 hours. I get easily two days all the time. If I don't use my watch much, it's dropping like 30% over 24 hours, which is just insane as someone who's used the Apple Watch since the beginning. There's also the new action button, which is the first physical input added to the Apple Watch since the beginning, I think. And it is a really nice addition. It's not gonna change how you use the watch entirely, but for me, I've been able to remove the workout complication from all of my watch faces, because I just start them with a click. It's great, I love having this thing here, and I hope that Apple improves how many things can use it, how many things you can do with it in different contexts. I think third parties can integrate to it, so I think this will only get better in time, but it's a really nice thing to add to the watch experience experience that gives you a little bit more power and just the ability to automate things a little better. This is something I wasn't expecting, but the speaker is way better too. So if you ever take calls on your Apple Watch, you know the speaker is sufficient, but it's pretty quiet. So if you're in a loud environment, you're really not gonna hear it very well at all. And so I did a speaker comparison, I'll play in a second here, but needless to say, when you look at the speaker on this thing, it is so big compared to the older Apple Watches or even the Series 8, which just came out as well. It's so much louder, it's really impressive. So just, just listen and you'll see the difference. Apollo partly smiles on us this day. Apollo partly smiles on us this day. Apollo partly smiles on us this day. Lenticular clouds form near mountains and look like flying saucers. The screen also gets brighter in direct sunlight, so indoors it's basically exactly the same in my experience, but when you're outdoors it really can boost past the limit of the other series watches. So the other models max out at 1000 nits, this one goes to 2000 nits, which sounds like it's double as bright, but it's not quite double as bright. But if you ever have trouble seeing it in the sun, this is going to help you out there. Then there's an exclusive watch face, which I know not everybody's gonna care about, but this is an analog watch face with seven or technically eight complication spots, which is really awesome. Uh, so I just have tons of information on this watch face, which really I think 
just goes along with the style of the swatch in general, just more, more, more. Um, and then it also, if you turn the crown, you can turn the whole thing red and then turn it back. And it's just nice for using it at night, which wish more watch faces would have this red mode because it's pretty rad. And if you're worried about missing out on features on the Series 8 that were just added, you can rest assured because as far as I can tell, everything new in the Series 8 in terms of sensors and everything, that's also here in the Ultra. And there are some things that you probably won't get use out of unless you're doing these more extreme things. The GPS improved accuracy probably won't impact most people. Um, the increased depth limits, so if you're going underwater, the normal Series 8 can go up to 50 meters underwater, this one can go to 100 meters. Both of those are way deeper underwater than I ever want to be, so totally irrelevant to me. Um, but also along with water, it can tell you the water temperature, it can tell you how deep you are. This is all great, this is all nice, but it's not something that most people will ever use, and that's okay because of all the things we talked about previously. So. I wanted to make this video because I feel like all of the reviews I'm watching are like, yeah, this is a good watch, but it's only relevant to like this very small group of people. And while I think that it's an expensive watch, it's a bigger watch, and that does limit who's going to want it, I do think it's a more mainstream watch than a lot of people are giving it credit for. So I wanted to make that, this video today to kind of show you the design stuff, show you some of the practical features that make it more useful. If you struggle with battery life, if you struggle with the speaker, if you struggle with uh, the screen size or the screen brightness, all of these things are notably better on the Ultra compared to the Series 8, which just came out as well. And they are tangible benefits that I think people will get value from. So it's an expensive watch. It's the most expensive watch Apple currently makes, but it's right about in line with the price they have always had for their titanium watches. And those ones didn't come with the benefits we talked about today. So yeah, hopefully this video was helpful. Hopefully it gave you a new kind of appreciation for what the Apple Watch Ultra can do, who it might be useful for. If, you, if it did, drop a like down below. Would love to see it. And I'll see you here next time. Bye-bye.